It's a good day today, isn't it? Yes, Baba, it is. Baba, look, look over there. <laughs> That's a deer. Where did it come from? Oh, she's so beautiful. Yes, my son. She is so beautiful. That's the brilliance of Allah's creations. I agree, Baba. Which story are you going to tell me today, Baba? Hmm, inshallah, I will tell you the story of two different prophets today. First, I'll start with the story of Prophet Yusha alayhi salam. Listen carefully. Bismillah. The story of Prophet Yusha alayhi salam. Prophet Yusha alayhi salam was the grandson of Prophet Musa alayhi salam. He joined his grandfather during the great exodus. Musa alayhi salam liked his grandson and gave him many important duties. They wandered in the desert for 40 long years. When the old prophet died, Prophet Yusha alayhi salam took over the role of leading the Israelites. They traveled for many days and finally reached the banks of River Jordan. Yusha alayhi salam led the people and they crossed the river to reach the town of Jericho. Jericho was a magnificent city with towering buildings and great walls. The people in the town were very huge and strong. But their leaders were very bad and they were all very corrupt. They cheated the poor and they worshipped idols as well. God didn't want these bad people controlling the city. Allah then ordered the Prophet to take his men to capture the city. The Prophet recruited young men from his people and planned to attack Jericho. He took his men and set to seize the city of Jericho on a Friday. The leaders of Jericho too sent out their army. Yusha alayhi salam and his men fought the strong army very bravely. They fought the army throughout the morning, afternoon and evening. When the sun started to set, the prophet started worrying. He knew that the next day was Saturday, the day of the Sabbath. And it was a holy day for them. His men would not fight on the Sabbath day, so he prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, hold the sun back from setting, he prayed. It was a miracle. The sun didn't set for hours and it stood up there in the sky just like that. The Prophet and his men fought fiercely and they eventually won the battle. And through the example of Yusha alayhi salam, we see how Allah grants victory to those who are prepared. MashaAllah, that was such a wonderful story. When did the Prophet die, Baba? Hmm, he lived till the age of 100. And it is believed that he died in Palestine. Thank you, Baba, for telling me the story. Now shall I ask you a few questions from this story? Yes, I'm ready. All right, now tell me who was the grandfather of Prophet Yusha alayhi salam? Hmm, he was the grandson of Prophet Musa. Very good. Now tell me the name of the river they had to cross while in the desert. It was River Jordan, wasn't it? After crossing the river, which city did they reach? They reached the city of Jericho. You're right again. Now tell me... On what day did the Prophet take his men to attack the city? Hmm, it was on a Friday. <laughs> You're giving all the right answers, my son. Now answer this. Why wouldn't the men fight during the next day? Because it was the day of Sabbath, a holy day. All right, and here is the last question. How did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help the Prophet to win the war? God stopped the sun from setting till the Prophet won the war. Masha Allah, all of your answers were correct. Thanks, Baba. Didn't you say that you will tell me another story today? Yes, my son. Insha Allah, I will tell you the story of Prophet Hisqil alayhi salam now. Masha Allah, another story? Now listen carefully. Bismillah. The 
the story of Prophet Hizqil alayhi salam. After the death of Prophet Yusha alayhi salam, Prophet Hizqil alayhi salam succeeded him as the Prophet to the Israelites. A long time after the death of Prophet Yusha alayhi salam, the Israelites were now living in Palestine. It was during this time that the plague attacked the village. People started dying everywhere and everyone was scared. The people gathered their family and belongings and started fleeing from the village. Allah was really angry when he saw the people running away, thinking of saving themselves. They traveled for many days and eventually settled on top of a plateau. It was then the angel of death called to them, Die, you all! Every one of the survivors perished on that plateau the same day. Many centuries had passed by now, and the place where the survivors died was called Damardan. The plateau was covered with bones of all the dead people. One day a prophet named Hizqil salam was walking through the plateau. He was surprised to see so many bones lying around. He stood there for a long time wondering what had happened. Then suddenly there came a voice. Do you want me to show you how I bring them back to life? Asked the voice. Yes, answered the prophet. His idea was to marvel at the power of Allah. First, the voice commanded Prophet to say these words, O bones, Allah commands you to gather up. The Prophet said the words as he was ordered. Then the bones started flying here and there to gather up and they became skeletons. Then the voice commanded the Prophet to say this, O bones, it is an order of Allah for you to wear flesh and clothes in which you died in. The Prophet said this and suddenly the skeletons got covered in flesh and blood. Then they were covered in clothes. Then the voice asked the Prophet to say these words, O oh, resurrected ones, all of you stand up by the command of Allah. It was a miracle. All of them came back to life. <laughs> The Prophet could not believe his eyes. There were thousands of people in front of him, all alive, who were dead just a few moments ago. MashaAllah, that was such a good story. I'm glad you liked it, my son. All right, now are you ready for the questions? Yes, Baba. Tell me why did the people flee from Palestine? It was because of the plague. That's correct. And did they survive by running away? No, an angel of death killed all of them. Very good. And how did they come back to life? It was because of the Prophet. The Prophet said the words as commanded by a voice. And all of them came back to life. Masha Allah, that was great. You gave me all the right answers. Thanks, Baba. All right, I will tell you another story tomorrow, my son. Thanks, Baba. Goodbye. Goodbye.